Hi there, it's Amit Power here. I'm just going to go over the anatomy relevant for a femoral nerve block and for a supra-inguinal fascia iliaca block. Let's have a look at the anatomy here. And if we zoom in, what we'll hopefully identify here is the sartorius muscle laterally with the lateral nerve of the thigh overlying it, the iliacus, the psoas, the internal oblique muscle. If we zoom in here, we're going to see the femoral nerve. We're going to see the uh, femoral artery with the profunda femoris, the deep branch, the femoral vein, and now we're going to highlight the deep circumflex iliac artery. If I rotate the image round as if we were performing a superinguinal fascia iliaca block, you can see now that sort of bow tie appearance that we're going to get, the sartorius, the iliopsoas, and the internal oblique, and you can see the deep circumflex iliac and how it uh, performs an important role, and how the femoral nerve then dives deep down into the pelvis. If you were to place a probe over uh, the, uh, the region in the groin looking at the femoral uh, nerve, this is the type of image you might see here. We've got a single femoral artery, the femoral vein, the ileus psoas muscle, and then you can see sartorius laterally in the picture, and the femoral nerve tightly adherent to the uh, ileus psoas muscle. In fact, some would say sometimes it even invaginates the muscle at that point there. Now, let's have a look and see what happens if you were to place a probe on. If we remove the fascia, and now place a probe on. Often you'll see people uh, place a probe where the profunda has branched off the femoral artery. So first thing we'll do is slide proximal, so single femoral artery, femoral vein medially. Then you've got the iliopsoas muscle laterally, and you can hopefully identify the femoral nerve sitting there right on the fascia, uh, or, um, or right on the surface of the muscle. If you slide laterally there, you see sartorius. So if we're talking about the supraingonal fascia and like a block, and often we refer to this bow tie, what are we talking about? We're talking about a block that targets the femoral nerve, the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, and the obturator nerves. And this has been demonstrated to be superior to the infra-inguinal approach to the fascia iliaca. I mentioned bow tie once already. What am I referring to here? So here's an appearance of a bow tie. And let's remove the schematic and put real anatomical structures in. There you can see sartorius and internal oblique forming two wings of the bow tie and the iliopsoas forming that central region. I've also highlighted the, bel the pelvic brim, the abdominal cavity and the deep circumflex iliac artery. Now when you induce, uh, introduce local anaesthetic and inject below the fascia, you'll aim to elevate that deep circumflex iliac artery that will help make sure you know you're in the right place. And notice you want that needle tip to be careful out to the pelvic brim to make sure all of the local anesthetic spills forward and none of it leaks back. What might it look like if you were to generate the image? Well, here you see um, the ultrasound image generator of the femoral nerve, ileus psoas coming up to sartorius, rotating the probe round, going up towards the internal oblique, and then coming back down again so you can see sartorius, and that's that bow tie there. And as you stop there, you can see the deep circumflex iliac artery coming into view. This is a video donated very kindly by Dr. Jeff Ganston. You can see a needle coming in here from Cordad, injecting below the fascia iliaca. And when you see that little pop there, you inject local anesthetic, you get that classic unzippering view. How do we summarize? Well, um, we generally tend to have our patients in the supine position. More often than not, we needle in plane. Uh, you can use a linear or a curved array probe depending on the patient's body habitus and don't tend to need a particularly long needle. If you're going to place a catheter, insert three to five centimeters, and the typical dose um, you would get administered is about 30 to 40 cc's of local anesthetic followed by an infusion. Uh, pearls and pitfalls, make sure you are deep to the fascia iliaca and below the deep circumflex iliac artery and ensure that you inject kephalad to that pelvic brim. Many thanks.